Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today's topic is varicose veins and before starting this topic I would like to request you to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos. And the first thing is uh, what are the varicose veins? Now the varicose veins uh, which are also known as uh, uh, varicoses or uh, uh, varicocytes uh, they occur when uh, your veins become enlarged, or they become dilated, or they become overfilled with the blood. And the varicose veins they typically appear swollen and raised, and have bluish purple or the red color. And they are often painful. And the condition is very common, especially in women. And uh, around 25% of all adults have the varicose veins. In most cases, varicose veins appear on the lower leg. Next thing is, what are the causes of the varicose veins? Well, the varicose veins occur uh, when the veins are not functioning properly. And uh, veins have uh, one-way valves. Uh, and their function is to prevent the blood from flowing backwards. Now when these valves fail and blood begins to collect in the veins rather than continuing and moving forward towards the heart, you know, upward, you know. And the veins then enlarge. The varicose veins often affect the legs. And the veins are uh, uh, in the legs or the, uh, from the, uh, the, the distance from the heart, you know. And uh, the gravity makes it harder for the blood to flow upwards towards the heart you know, against the gravity. And some uh, potential causes of the uh, varicose veins are like uh, pregnancy, uh, menopause, uh, age if it's over 50 you know, and standing for a long period of time, obesity and the family history of varicose veins. So these are the common uh, uh, causes of the varicose veins. You know. uh, the next thing is uh, what are the symptoms? You know the primary symptoms of the varicose veins are highly visible and they are uh, mishap on veins and usually on your uh, legs you know. and you may have uh, pain you may feel swelling, you may have the heaviness and uh, uh, achiness you know, uh, over or around the enlarged veins. And uh, in some cases, uh, you can develop the swelling and the discoloration. And in severe cases, uh, the veins can bleed significantly and uh, ulcers can form. So uh, these are the signs and the symptoms. The next thing is uh, how do the doctors diagnose the varicose veins? Now your doctor will uh, likely examine your legs and uh, visible veins while you are sitting or standing to diagnose uh, the varicose veins. You know. So your doctor will ask the questions about the history of this condition. You know how for how long you, you are having this uh, kind of vein problem. Or the sore, or are there any kind of uh, family history, you know? And then he will examine uh, to get any clue, you know. And uh, uh, your doctor may ask you about uh, any pain symptoms you are having, you know? and your doctor may also want to do an ultrasound to check your blood flow. You know? And this is a, a non-invasive test that uses the high frequency ultrasound waves. Uh, it allows your doctor to see how blood is flowing in your veins, you know. And depending on the location, uh, a venogram may be done uh, to further assess your veins, you know. And during this test, your doctor injects a special dye into your legs and uh, takes x-rays of the area, you know. And the dye appears on the x-rays. Uh, giving your doctor a better view of your uh, of how your blood is flowing, you know. And uh, 
uh, tests such as the ultrasounds or the you know, venograms. Uh, they help ensure that an other disorder like uh, blood clots or uh, a blockage is not causing the pain and the swelling in your leg, like thrombosis and anything else. Now, the next thing is once diagnosed, then uh, what are the treatment options? Well, in general, uh, the doctors are uh, conservative when treating uh, the varicose veins, you know. And uh, you will probably be advised to make changes in your lifestyle and instead of uh, trying more aggressive treatments. And uh, the lifestyle changes uh, uh, made to like avoiding standing for the extended period of time, you know, or uh, uh, lose the weight or maintain a healthy weight, you know, uh, exercise to improve your blood circulation on a regular basis. And use compression stock, uh, those uh, socks or uh, stockings, you know. And uh, if you already have a varicose vein, uh, you should uh, take these steps to prevent new varicose veins, you know. And uh, you should also uh, elevate your legs uh, whenever you are resting or sleeping, you know. So it will improve the blood circulation. Now, the next thing is uh, these are the lifestyle changes. The next thing is uh, the compression and the treatment option. So your doctor may advise you uh, to wear the special compression socks or the stockings. Yeah? And uh, these place enough pressure on your legs uh, so that the blood uh, pressure on your legs uh, so that the blood can flow more easily towards your heart you know, and they also decrease the swelling. And the level of compression varies but most types of the compression stockings are available in drug stores or the medical supply uh, stores, you know. And the next thing is uh, uh, surgery, you know, which is another option. Uh, but this is only advised when uh, the life surgery has failed, you know, and they are not working well. Or if uh, your varicose veins are causing a lot of pain or damaging your overall health, you know, so your doctor might try it the invasive procedures and the vein ligation and uh, stripping is a surgical treatment and that requires anesthesia and during the procedure your surgeon makes cuts in your skin uh, cuts the vehicle vein and removes it from uh, the incision uh, although updated uh, variations of the vein stripping surgeries uh, have been developed you know, and uh, they are less commonly performed because uh, they are newer and uh, they are less invasive options are available. Yeah. And the other treatment options uh, uh, like the, uh, a wide variety of uh, minimally invasive treatment options for the varicose veins are available and they include like uh, uh, cellular therapy, you know. Uh, Cellular therapy is uh, using a liquid or foam chemical injection to block off a large vein. And uh, microcellular therapy is another technique which is using a liquid chemical injection to block off smaller veins. You know. And uh, laser surgery uh, is used uh, uh, to block off the veins. You know. And uh, the endovenous ablation therapy is another option, you know, where using heat and uh, radio frequency waves to block off the vein. And the endoscopic vein surgery is another option, is using a small lighted scope inserted through a small incision uh, to block off the vein. And you should always talk to your doctor about your treatment options and uh, uh, risks before uh, the associated with these procedures, especially with the invasive procedures, you know. Uh, to discuss uh, the pros and cons of that procedure. So be open, talk to your doctor. Uh, and uh, now the method recommended, I mean the technique, uh, the invasive techniques depends on the location and your symptoms and the size of that very close way. Now, uh, the other thing is about uh, uh, like the outlook or uh, prognosis, you know, 
I know the vehicles means generally get worse over the uh, time and uh, this is uh, uh, true even if you make a necessary national changes to control them and manage your pain you know now while the maybe uh, slightly runs uh, unsightly they usually don't cause any long-term medical problems you know, or any complications you know uh, in some cases the varicose veins can lead to ulcers or sores on your legs you know and blood clots and the chronic inflammation and if you have a severe case your vein uh, could rupture so these are the complications and uh, you should see your doctor if you develop any of these symptoms and uh, they may then suggest taking more aggressive approach such as surgery or uh, other interventions you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website at www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Uh, uh, here is uh, our website, that's www.diseasesandtreatment.com. So you can visit if you need any information about any disease. Uh, or alternatively, you can click the link in the description area. Visit this website. Goodbye.